Get off the right wheel. All right, man. I was waiting on a theme song, but we got to give it up for Mr. Whitley. I mean, that was the theme song. That was my theme song. Wow, wow. So guys, why are we getting set up right here? Just let me say this. Um, I, I'm, I'm so thankful to Tasha that she, Natasha, that she asked me to train on the subject that I'm going to train on, um, which is meeting etiquette. Uh, because I know with me being in this, in this arena now, going on 24 years, I can't believe it. 24 years, guys. Next month will be 15 years on the 4th of November. I'll be 15 years with five links. Isn't God good? So again, um, first and foremost, let me do this. For everybody that's been with the company for three years or more, stand up for me right quick. Three years or more. Guys, let me personally salute you because you stuck around. But we are back! Yes! Thank you, thank you. Let's give it up for Nelson Gerard, man, huh? Let's give it up for Larry Hopper and Mr. Mike Gilbert and Corporate. They have really stepped their game up. They really stepped their game up. So now it's time for all of us to do our game, I mean, to step our game up. So let me say this. I've been in this arena almost 24 years come March. And guys, when one of my military partners actually brought the arena to me, I wanted nothing to do with it, like a lot of you guys, Pyramid, you know, that was me. Matter of fact, when my partner came to my house, I gave him $195 to leave. I mean, and I gave him the money to get in it, but I didn't do nothing with it. A month later, I finally went to a meeting. And that meeting it just, just totally set me free that particular night. When I went into that meeting, there was about 300 people in that meeting. I'm talking about there were engineers, there were educators, there were nurses, there were all kind of professional people. They were dressed to the max. I got so hyped that night. Guys, I knew I was gonna be successful in this arena. Matter, uh, matter of fact, back in the day, when I came in, you know, everybody used to have their briefcase. I went in that meeting with the pizza box that they sent me. When I walked in that meeting and I saw everybody with that brief, briefcase, I couldn't wait. The next day I went on post to the PX and I walked out there with my briefcase. Are you with me? <laughs> so that meeting set the standards for me. And guys, ever since that day, it's all about the meetings to me. Now it's time Nelson has, has showed up and he had just laid the foundation for us again. So now it's time for us to go ahead and do our thing. Aren't you guys, everybody agree? Yeah. It's time for each and every one of us to come on and do our thing. Let me get you guys on, on the stage. It's time for each and every one of you guys to come on and step up your game. And I'm talking about step it up in the sense of these meetings, guys. I'm talking about BOMs and PBRs. I'm gonna go through them and guys, um, as my team come on, on the stage, I thought they would already be on the stage. Let's give it up for my team. So guys, I'm gonna tell you now, the one thing I want you guys to do for me, I know when uh, Mr. Gerard came, um, when, when Mike Gilbert and those guys, they, they came to the, uh, they came on, on stage and they said, hey, we want everybody to dress down. Everybody start dressing down. But I noticed Larry Hopper never dressed down. Guys, when I went to that meeting, that first meeting, the thing that impressed me was how they were dressed. So I'm going to say it from the offset. I think we need to go back the way we used to be. Everybody needs to come on and start uh, dressing to the max. Time out for wearing hats and stuff at the meetings. Um, we need to take our meetings to a whole nother level. Let's go ahead and take this to a whole nother level, yes. So guys, I got my cast up here as I go through this scenario, um, and I got 15 tips that I want to bless each and every one of you with. So I'm going to get um, Ms. Bass to come on. You got the mic? I'm going to get you to stand on up as I go through these tips, guys. So everybody know what SWAT team is. SWAT team is the leaders. These are the people that just make it happen. So in all actuality, guys, a lot of, you know, I've been in this arena for 20 something years and at least my first 10 years, I was always the first one at the meetings 
and I was always the last one to leave. The leaders got to be at the meeting first. Everybody, if you're a leader, you got to be at that meeting at least 30 minutes beforehand. You can't come up in that meeting late, guys. Why? Because just like we had to set these tables up, I mean these chairs out here, somebody got to do it. And it shouldn't always have to be the platinum senior vice president setting up the, the, the chairs or putting out the coffee or putting out the setting up the uh, CBD products. All of the leaders should be there. So I'm going to, as I go through these slides, I'm going to go through some scenarios so you guys understand. You already know how it works. People coming in late. So let's go ahead. You've got to be that 30 minute prior. Who's supposed to be doing that portion? Coming in late. Okay. Ms. Bass, I need you up here. Right here. All right. So how many of you guys, now the meeting already started and the leader's coming in late. How many of you guys have that at your meeting? Huh? So we shouldn't be having leaders rolling up in there late. They should be there 30 minutes prior, guys. Why? Because we want to make sure that we meet and greet the guests. We want to make sure that we, we create the buzz in the room, guys. We want to make sure that we create energy, excitement in that room. So if the leaders are late. The speed of the leader is the speed of the pack, right or wrong. So the leaders have got to be there. I mean, the leaders are designated to help greet and see the unaccompanied guests, making sure that if somebody is there, if um, Kurt or someone sent a, a guest there from, he's in Maryland, but he sent a guest there, well, somebody got to be there to greet that guest. So we want to make sure that the leaders are in place. Guys, we want to make sure that we, as we, the leaders, they're wearing name badges. Mr. Bunch, can I get you to stand up for me? We want, this is Mr. Bunch looking pretty, Tacky, nice right here. Matter of fact, we want our leaders to make sure that we wear name badges. Our guests got their name badges. We're looking professional. I mean, this is not a fly-by-night type company. This is a multi-billion dollar company, right or wrong. So we got to be looking like a multi, thank you, sir. We got to be looking like a multi-billion dollar company. Guys, whether it's a PBR or BOM, we need to start our meetings on time. And we need to end them on time, period. I mean, some people get out there and we go on and on and on. No, no, no. We need to start on time and we need to end on time. And bottom line, as people coming into the room, we want to make sure that we fill the front seats up, like, like on tonight. As the guests come into the room, we want to fill the front seats up, guys. And then the people that come in late, they can start in the back. So everybody, Lottie, Dottie, and everybody, need to be sitting down. Man, it's nothing more irritating to see people in the back just hobnobbing, just talking junk. Do you guys get some of this in your meetings? No, we can't have that going on. I mean, thank you, ma'am. If you don't mind, the meeting just got started. Yeah. We don't need nobody standing in the back, guys. We need everybody sitting down. We need to, put, we need to turn off our phones, um, no talking, doing the uh, presentation. You guys have people talking in your presentation? And the presenter up here speaking, but yet you got people talking. So no talking, guys, period. You got to be paying attention. And I just knocked myself out. Okay. At the same time, guys, we need to smile. Let me say something. This meeting is like Hollywood. I mean, Mr. Whitley just got up here. Guys, that, that, that took practice and practice and practice till he perfect to who he is to this day, right or wrong. So our meeting should be the same way. Our meeting should be like Hollywood, man. When you come in there, when that presenter's up there presenting, presenter, when that presenter's up there presenting, guys, as she's speaking, as she's speaking, as she's saying things, the, the team should be clapping and yep. nodding their head because it's not about, Thank it's not about, it's not about, guys, uh, the guests. It's about everybody playing their part, right or wrong. Everybody got to come in there playing their part. You can't come in there. I know for me, 
and, 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 and I can perhaps make it through anything. But when I see people coming in the room and they just, you know, just looking at you all crazy, like they're ready to jump up and fight you and all this kind of stuff, that, that drain you, that take your energy away. So everybody got to come in there clapping and, you know, act like this is your first time. You don't have to go overboard, but you got to bring some energy because it's not about you, it's about those guests that's in the room. Afterwards, leaders got to assist the reps and the, and the guests, um, the people that need help. Everybody need to be, that's why we're the SWAT. Everybody need to be there helping, pulling chairs, doing powwows, just bottom line, helping with the meeting. Man, it's always someone, it, someone in every presentation got to ask some crazy questions. People are asking questions. Ms. Bass. Um, Ms. Bass, uh, could you tell me why Dom, Daily Dimes didn't send my money? <laughs> this is no time for, to be asked about no Daily Dimes. This meeting is all about what? The meeting is about the, the guests, guys. We can't be there asking, you know, our, I mean, just crazy questions. We don't want to leave the room with the guests when the meeting is over. We don't want to leave the room with the guests. Use the energy that's in the room. But a lot of people think because I, I have a title, I'm an ED, I'm an ND, I'm an SVP, I got it. And I'm just going to go out here and do it my way. No, this is a SWAT team. We got to, you know, do it all together. Don't take your person outside the room. Just leave it. Use the energy that's in the room to come on. Let's help close your people. Be prepared and have the necessary paperwork. Guys, I mean, again, I've been in this arena for 24 years. And I am never without an application. I mean, that's part of my deal. If I want to sign, if I meet someone up, I uh, meet someone as I go back to the hotel, they're ready to come into the deal. What I'm going to do, him and her, I'm going to pull out that application. I'm not like Thomas Felder. You know, I can't pull out, pull out my cell phone and put that stuff in. I was in, look, in the military, I was in charge of the computer branch. I don't know nothing about no computers, right? So I got to have my application. So you want to be prepared to have the necessary paperwork and get your guests signed up, guys. And look, when you bring guests to the meeting, like tonight, when you bring your guests to the meeting, you should expect for your guests to sign up, right or wrong. Look, if you come and you act like you don't think they're going to they, they, they come in, they're not going to come in. But if you come in here with attitude, I mean, like you are the man or the woman, they're going to want to come in with you. So again, make sure you got all your paperwork. Oh, man. No negativity. Anybody have, have any negativity going on in, the, in their meetings? Oh, I don't have any money right now. My big ship hasn't come in yet. No negativity, guys. Now, she's in the business. Are you with me? Is we this a pyramid? No negativity. Are you with me? This, this is not the guest saying this. This is the rep asking that question. I heard about the bad partners on Google's. What y'all got going on around here? See that? <laughs> no I don't know about this. I don't know about this. No negativity. Period. Because it's not about you. It's about those guests, guys. Again, the prison, the business prison is not about. It's no time for negativity. It's time, and it's no time for training. I have gone to some meetings, and people will take at least forty minutes on the first part and another 40 minutes on the second part. I mean, honestly, guys, come on, period. Whenever you see guests walk out the room and they got that phone to their ears, they ain't talking to nobody, but they just telling you bye. <laughs> they can't take it no more. So again, there's nothing wrong with bringing kids to the BOMs or to the PBRs, but we want to send them to the rear in case they start kind of acting up. We can kind of like, you know, take them on out the room. But again, guys, this meeting is for the guests. It's for the guests. I don't know why I keep hitting that button. <laughs> so again, guys, important preparations before the meeting. You want to have upbeat music. I mean, some good jazz, uh, uh, just some upbeat type music. Look. My first meeting, 
I had my first PBR at my home when it was all over with. See there? No alcohol. Are you with me? No alcohol, guys. My first meeting that I had at my home, bottom line, at the conclusion of that meeting, I popped some popcorn. I ain't had no chicken and all that stuff that a lot of you guys have, right? No alcohol. I did one meeting. I did one family reunion. I did a meeting at a family reunion. I promised myself I would never do another family reunion. <laughs> they were drinking. They were acting crazy. No alcohol, guys. Make sure you have your rep agreement. Make sure you have your sign-in sheets. Make sure you have all your documentation, your five links documentation. Look. We have to escort him out. He's wow. drunk. <laughs> See, he didn't, he didn't drunk. <laughs> Move him on out the way, guys. Make sure you got your pen and your, and your pads. And guys, turn off all your cell phones. No cell phones. Turn them off. Turn off all those devices. What happened? Okay. Okay, tell your people to arrive 30 minutes prior, guys. Tell them to arrive 30 minutes prior. Make sure that as they come, that you introduce your guests to the leadership. You want to introduce them to the leadership. And you definitely want to re-edify the speaker. Don't present before the um, presentation start. A lot of people get up here and they start, uh, they bring their guests, like on the night, and bottom line, instead of waiting for the presenters, you are here trying to do the presentation for them. No, 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 let the presenters do that. Period, let the presenters do that. And again, guys, you always want to invite at least 50 people to get at least 15 people there. I tell people, if you invite 50 people, well, bottom line, at least 15 of those people are going to tell you, well, I already got something scheduled. But on that Friday night, for example, if the meeting is on Saturday, on that Friday, well, another 15 is going to come back and say, oh, something came up. You know, Clemson playing, Alabama playing, or whoever. But then you got 20 people that promise you on that Saturday they're going to be at the meeting. Five of those people are not going to show up. Anybody know who those five people are going to be? That's going to be your brother, your sister, your so-called best friend. Why? Because they already know you're, talking, you're starting a business. You just borrowed $50 from them yesterday. So five of those people are not going to show up. But 15 will show, guys. So again, when you're introducing the speaker, when you're introducing the speaker, welcome all of the guests that have them silent their phone. What I like to do, I like when I, before I come up, I want that person to just have each um, guest to get up and tell a little bit about themselves. So now I get a feel of who that person is when I'm up in front of that room. You want to hold all the questions to the end of the meeting. And again, guys, you definitely want to edify the speaker and you want to build up credibility. Let, let's kind of talk about that. Because a lot of people hold that up. Oh, let me just introduce you to Ron Williams. You know, out of Augusta, Georgia. Now, let's go through a scene of introduction. Now, this is not, this is not how you introduce people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. I'm going to introduce our speaker for today. And um, we have Ms. Um, Chardé, right? Oh, no. Oh, Chardra Bass from um, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Oh, okay. Hold Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ms. Charger Bass from Rock Hill, South Carolina. I was going to be our speaker tonight. Thank you all. Ms. Charger, now, okay. Now that is not how you properly introduce your guest speaker. Look, guys, when you bring your guests, you got people from all walks of life. And again, if you're just introducing that guest speaker like they're nobody, then they're going to receive them as, okay, who is this person? So let's see how you properly introduce that speaker. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming. I'm about to introduce you someone who is a go-to person. She, is, she holds one of the highest positions in the organization. She travels with you up and down the byways to make sure you succeed. She sits on the board of this organization. 
She is a person that I have tremendous respect for. And I'd like to introduce you to our senior vice president, Chandra Bass. All right. So guys, if you don't know what to say, get with the person that you're introducing and get their bio. You don't have to read it, but at least halfway internalize it and then come on and introduce that person in a manner that the, um, the, the guest is gonna receive that person. It is so important. So again, guys, that speaker, when that speaker come up, that speaker gonna do a one, two, three presentation, meaning that they're gonna tell their story, their past, their present, and the future. A lot of people come up and they go on and on and on and on and on with their story. But that speaker come up and they're gonna tell their story. Ms. Bass, let me get you to tell your story. Please, ma'am. She don't like to be put on the spot. But. All right, so. Good afternoon, everyone. It's definitely a pleasure to be with you all today. And just to give you a little background about myself, I am originally from Charleston, South Carolina, and I was blessed with this opportunity five years ago, and I got involved because of debt. Any of you have debt? Anybody debt? Student loan debts, anybody have those? Well, guess what? I have them twice over. I went to school, got the bachelor's degree, went back, obtained an MBA degree, and now I have thousands of dollars of student loan that have to be repaid. And I had someone knocking on my door every 30 days. Her name is Sally, last name is May. You all know her, right? <laughs> and she wouldn't leave me alone. She wanted her 700 plus dollars, time to pay up every 30 days. But I didn't have that kind of money. And so I said a prayer. I said, God, here's the bill, do something with it. And God answered a prayer by bringing this opportunity to me. So it is definitely my pleasure to be with you guys today to share something with you that's going to be a blessing to you just as it is a blessing for me. Yes. So the partners should be clapping so that the guests can clap. The guests going to follow the lead of the partners. So thank you, Ms. Bass. So guys, don't train during the business presentation. I mean, you guys see that in your meetings. You got the people up here doing the, um, the, 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 the speakers. They speaking, but you know, these you know, so-called leaders they're there, you know, interrupting the guests, the guests trying to listen, they're trying to train. Guys, don't do that. And you got to relate to be able to relate to the crowd. You got to be able to relate to that crowd. So at the same time, guys, never, never, never interrupt the speaker. Never interrupt the speaker. Anybody have that happen in their meeting? They'll go to speaker speaking, and now. She's being interrupted. So when do we get paid? <laughs> How we get paid? <laughs> it's not for the reps. It's for who? The guests. I mean, the reps can't be up there asking, when do we get paid? That's during the training. Are you with me? Not during the presentation aspect. So never, never, never interrupt the um, speaker, guys. Ans um, don't answer no phones. Um, ask questions. You want to ask all your questions before the meeting, not during the meeting. And guys, a lot of you guys like to apologize because your guest is late. Don't apologize. Go ahead with the meeting. And the ones that are there are the ones that's going to get the blessing right around. So don't be waiting for, for the ones that didn't come. I mean, I'm still waiting on some people that didn't come 20 something years ago. <laughs> so. So guys, you want to always participate with the speaker. You want to always participate with the speaker, agree with the speaker. So Ms. Bass, can I get you to come back? So as she's going through a couple of scenarios, just, um, just here's a, a couple of highlights on the presentation, five links, and 500, whatever. So Five Lanes has been in business now for 18 years. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? Founded in 2001. We are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. And guess what? We've been recognized nine times by the Inc. 500 5000 magazine. I think that deserves a round of applause, don't you? And guys, you don't want to get carried away with it. But again, if the reps are not helping that speaker, then the guest is not going to you know, truly get it. So everybody got to be all in to it. Be conscious again, not to um, de-edify, but to edify the speaker at all times. 
So the SWAT team, look, you want to uh, get your prospects there before the meeting. And again, um, after the meeting, this is what you want to do. You want to ask your prospect, do you, do you see the opportunity? Do you see the opportunity? They're going to say yes or no. And if they say yes, what did you like about it best? And then, guys, you want to introduce your prospect back to the, take them up to that speaker, the leaders, and then let the leaders help you close it. Again, after the meeting, go ahead and just, do you see the opportunity? That's the question that, that you're going to ask your guests. And if they say yes, then ask them what did they like about it best. And then you want to go ahead and get that guest in front of the leaders so the leaders can go ahead and help you close it. So as the meeting is going on and, and we, we're talking to the guests, we want to have some music playing softly. Again, guys, we never want to make, we never want to feed people before the meeting. I know a lot of you guys, now this, let me kind of back this up a little bit. Before the meeting, when we do our meetings, we have our coffee station set up. We have our, our CBD station set up. And as the guests come into the room, we have someone designated to take them to the coffee station. And they have like three or four different varieties of coffee in the small cups. Just give them enough just to taste it. And then after they then left the coffee station, we'll take them over to the uh, CBD side of the room. If they got any pain, okay, we're going to go ahead and spray them or go ahead and put some pain cream on them. And then, guys, bottom line, go ahead and seat them. But yet, we're not going to feed them. Let them try some coffee, but you don't want to pull out that chicken and stuff yet. <laughs> We're going to do the food after the meeting so that, again, the guests don't have to um, leave. The guests can stay there so that the SWAT team can go ahead and spend some time with them. So, guys, when we're doing our meetings, we, we basically looking for, I said two things, but it's really three. First and foremost, we're looking for partners. We're looking for customers. Or we're looking for referrals, period. A lot of us, we let people get away. I mean, people be all excited about the meeting, but we don't close them. We just let them get away. We don't get no customers out of them. I mean, they come in there and they say they have pain, and we put the spray on them, and wow, they're like, man, this is awesome. But they don't want to do the, um, the opportunity, and we let the people get away. And now we can't go back and get them as a customer. So our number one goal to make sure we get these people as what? Partners, customers, or referrals. So again, guys, when you're doing your meetings, your meetings is what's going to make you money. And right now, it is so important. It is so important. Nelson, Larry, and, and, and Mike is doing their part. We got to do our parts. Our meetings right now is like 15, 20 people at a meeting. We got to come on and blow this thing up. And guys, let me say this. Your meetings start where if I brought Kwame and him and Kay, my, for me, I'm going to go ahead and launch their business at their home. And then if they got four or five people that signed up, they got Jay, Chris, and two or three more people, then the two of us, the three of us, is going to go to those other people home and we're going to launch their business. And we're just going to keep doing that. Before you know it, we're going to have 20 or 25, 30, 40 people. Now we can start our weekly meeting because now we got partners coming in. But yet, if everybody coming to Ron House, everybody bringing their guests to Ron House on a weekly meeting, for a weekly meeting, instead of the Holiday Inn, is that Ron Inn, right or wrong? And a lot of people are doing that. And your business is not moving because you basically, everybody going to one person's house. I don't build my business like that. I'm in somebody's house every single day. I'm in somebody's house uh, because I'm looking for that ace. I'm going through those, I'm going through the numbers, guys, and that's what we got to get back to. We got to get into the homes, and through the homes is going to build these weekly meetings, and then we're going to blow it up. Everybody is in agreement? Is everybody ready to blow this company up? Yeah. Everybody come on, ready to go. Let's make that million dollars. We want to make a million dollars, guys. Huh? Is everybody ready to blow it up? Well, guys, this is our time. Again, Nelson, he's, he's laid the foundation. It's up to us. If it be, it's up to me. It's up to each and every one of us. Thank you, guys. You be blessed.